So the dumber the Instagram photo, the more likes you'll get. This is just facts at this point. I don't care how much effort and time you put into your captions and photos, Billie Eilish wearing a puffer jacket with no caption will probably get more likes than you'll ever probably find. I personally get around 3,000 likes per photo, which is great. But in this video, I wanna see if posting dumb photos for a week will increase my likes and get me Instagram famous. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the game plan. We're going to post three photos this week that are kind of dumb. What do I mean by dumb? I don't want to humiliate anyone by this definition, but the first thing that comes to mind is Emma Chamberlain. Emma Chamberlain is a YouTuber that posts really like, she posts photos like this. It's, it's not that it's dumb and I don't want to humiliate her. It's just like, they're really underthought. So what I'm gonna do is recreate some of her posts and get some inspiration from a couple of other people that don't think <laughs> to see if you can create the most dumb posts. What I'm gonna do to get inspiration is favorite some of her posts to recreate. Oh yes, this is, this is the content we need. See, it's just so casual. We love it. See, this is another good example. Like the quality isn't necessarily there. Um, you can't really, you don't really know what's going on. And I think that's why it got 1.7 million likes. All right, let's see who else is kind of dumb <laughs> online. <laughs> Oh, I have a friend named Ryan. Is he gonna get mad if I call him dumb? I know I just called Ryan's Instagram really silly and stupid, but it's actually not a bad thing. It kind of makes my day. So this is one of his posts where he's just like floating in the air. Another thing that I love Ryan is like, he's just, he posts stuff like this, which is, <laughs> I don't know, there's no context to it, but I love it. So we're gonna try to do something like that. All right, so now that we did our market research, it's time to implement and create this content. I'm gonna take all the pictures with my iPhone because it needs to look like low quality. The lower the quality, the better. So we're outside now and it's time to take this photo. I want it to be so stupid that like it, it looks like I just, I took it in my sleep. So the first thing we need to be Billy is a puffer jacket and we need some stupid sunglasses. These are my mom's, sorry mom, but they look stupid, right? Do they look stupid? <laughs> do I look stupid? Yes. Okay. Kind of look like an Asian mom, do yeah. I? <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so we're gonna take some photos right here. Get some fall vibes, let's get it. The reason why I wanna make this video is because I've written long captions about things I'm passionate about, but to my surprise, it doesn't perform well. Let me give you guys an example. This photo right here, okay. I talked about a topic that was really important to me, which is big data and the future of social media apps. There's like 10 comments on this photo, people saying, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And what I've kind of learned is just because you put effort or time into something doesn't mean an audience will enjoy it the same. So that's why I think making content that's not necessarily dumb, but a little bit more relatable helps everybody grow. And All right guys, I just hit the post button on our first post. I'm the puff guy. Let's refresh it. It's only been a minute since I posted. We got 40 likes. All right guys, I'm gonna go see you in post number two. Guys, it is day two and you will not believe what just happened. Okay, basically I was trying to recreate this photo to post because it's silly, it's funny, and dumb and i was trying to find that plastic surgery face filter you know guys on instagram where you can like scroll and find whatever filter you want well i was literally on my instagram for like hours trying to find this freaking filter then i google searched this and instagram removed all the plastic surgery filters so i'm gonna go back to snapchat to take this photo if we can find something better there comment below if you guys know why instagram removed their filters i'm still really curious and i hope everything's okay okay so we're on snapchat because instagram does not have the filter we need and i really like this one i think this really brings out my eyes oh this is perfect okay so we're gonna take a picture like this and then we're gonna take some other ones and silly faces <laughs> i'm gonna be so mad if this gets more than like 3,000 likes because i've spent so much money on a nice camera photographers and <laughs> <laughs> to, to like think that a photo on your snapchat camera can get more likes is gonna mind blow me so i hope that doesn't happen because i'll be actually pretty pissed off all right, so now I'm gonna take some regular photos to see if we can spice up the mood. And I think I have a caption idea. Lately, I've been in an argument with my parents because I have a really big head and sometimes I'm super arrogant. So the caption's gonna be something about having a big head. <laughs> Get it? Guys, this caption I thought was super funny. <laughs> it's when YouTube gets to your head. Yeah, I, I thought it was funny. <laughs> All right, we're gonna hit post. Let's get Instagram famous, yeah. I posted it, oh my gosh. 
This is so random. I've never posted like a selfie, let alone this shit. All right guys, so before we go with day number three, I quickly want to say that I have a surprise for you since you're watching this video right now. You guys always see me drinking tea in a reusable straw and I'm so excited to do a giveaway. So if you want a free metal straw, all you gotta do is just comment and subscribe. That's literally it. Sosis is so kind enough to send us some free straws. So I'm gonna give away a ton of you guys so we can save the turtles and drink some tea. All I gotta do is just subscribe and comment. I will pick a winner next week. All right, check out Ojai Superfood Bar. My mind is blown. All right, guys, it's the third day and boy, am I mad. I know I told you guys I was gonna wait to the very end to see how my engagement is doing, but I couldn't help but take a peek at my likes yesterday and boy, it was shit. Okay, so here's the tea. The first picture I posted got 4,000 likes. That's a 30% increase in my normal engagement. However, the second photo got 2,000 likes. That is a 30% decrease in engagement. So Jade being the data analyst she is, had to ask, you know, why did this photo perform better than this photo? So I have a few assumptions and my main thing is the quality. Like the first photo was bright. It had a really engaging message and it was taken on my back camera, which is way better quality and resolution. However, the second photo I took was on a selfie camera and I think it was less quality and I don't think it was that good of a post, which is why in this third post experiment, I don't want to give up. I want to freaking be famous and I want to see if I can maybe make a higher quality post using the two things I've learned. So with that being said, we're going to actually take the photo on our camera and create a funny piece of art. We can still redeem our Instagram engagement because it's it's dropping like hotcakes. All right, so we're going to head over now to our first location. I'll see you guys there. Okay guys, before we take the photo, we got to take the right if you know what I mean. Matcha, I'm, I'm talking about matcha, jeez. Oh, hi. All right guys, so we got the matcha. Alright guys, so I kind of want to create this meme where I'm like having a meeting with myself and the way we're gonna do it is put the camera on the table and I'm gonna move around so we can like Photoshop my third personality in. You'll, you'll see what I mean. Guys. Guys. So your name was again? Mika. Mika, yeah. you've been awesome. Thank you so much You're for welcome. helping us. All right guys, so we're back from the coffee shop. I had really good matcha. If you guys don't know, I always drink a green tea matcha latte. It's like my thing. Tag me on Instagram with hashtag matcha gang if you drink matcha and we can just join the party together. All right, anyways, I wanna show you guys how I take this photo to hopefully this meme and by then hopefully get a lot more interaction and likes so my audience responds well. This is how you get started. The coffee shop I was at was so nice to let us like literally go in the kitchen to take this photo. So this is the shot we have and I kind of want to clone myself three times in the same photo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a frame when I'm like posing really well. So that's the first frame right here. The second screenshot is gonna be me working on the laptop and the last screenshot is me with the matcha smiling. Awesome, now I'm gonna go to Photoshop to put it all together. I don't consider myself a professional meme maker. I guess if you have a business and you're hiring for your next meme master, you guys can you know think about me, I'm a, I'm a pro at this. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, now that I'm on Photoshop, I'm gonna lay all the pictures together. Okay, so I'm gonna take the eraser tool and like erase everything to the left of the image. Ooh, oh, do you guys see that? Okay, and then I'm gonna erase this side. This is crazy. <gasps> it's kind of looking really realistic though. This is amazing, oh my gosh. All right, that was super easy. That literally took a minute. I'm gonna export this out, add a quick filter and post it on Instagram. I'm really nervous to see how people respond to a little bit more put together edit. And most importantly, I was always nervous to create content that was a little bit more comedic because my social media presence has been a lot more professional and I'm really scared what people think. I honestly think I have a fear of, you know, posting something and people thinking like, who does she think she is? Like an influencer. And I get really scared, but today's experiment really helped me to hopefully branch out of that mindset and post something that makes me happy and letting everything else go with the flow. So let's go see what everyone says. All right guys, so we just finished editing. I wrote a caption and it's time to post. I ended up picking a different photo because it's a little bit more put together and more closer. So you'll see what I mean in just a few seconds. I'm hitting publish right now. All right, here it goes. This is probably the weirdest post I've ever done before. <laughs> I just posted it. Oh my God, I've watched me lose all my business because of this. It's literally on my feed. It looks really stupid. All right, so let's see if we have some likers. Oh, we have three likes so far. 
I really hope you think this is funny and I'm not a weirdo. <laughs> So last week I tried to grow on Instagram. I experimented posting dumb photos to see what would get me famous. Guys, the results are shocking. So what did I learn from posting dumb Instagram photos for a week? What does it really take to grow your profile in 2020? If you guys wanna know more, all you're gonna do is keep on watching.